Howdy guys, it's v and I'm doing a little bit of a voiceover bit because this is Friday and a little bit of Saturday of my Disney slash Georgia trip. And the reason that I'm doing a voiceover is because on Friday we went to downtown Disney and I started to not feel great. You know, I was just really anxious. I wasn't having a good time. I was getting really overheated just being in the sun for like 30 seconds. I was like, this was exhausting. But um, after Downtown Disney, we made reservations and we went to the famous You and Me Revolving Hot Pot. It was delicious. It was amazing. It was so different and unique to any place that I have been. I definitely recommend that you go there. We went there for lunch. It is kind of a buffet situation where you choose your broth. I got the herbal broth, with, which had dates, so it had like a slightly uh, sweet taste to it. And then they have this revolving like... Uh, like cart, not a cart, uh, a belt, yeah, a revolving belt that has all of these vegetables that come through and noodles and, and all of these things that I've never tried before and then they have this section of meat which has like everything you possibly think of and you cook it all in your hot pot and I had such a fun time. I went with my sister, I went with Wyatt and um, with Wyatt's cousin. Um, so we had a great time in downtown Disney and in uh, the hot pot place but after we were done with the hot pot place I kind of went home and I just went straight to sleep wasn't feeling great I still wasn't feeling great and as it progressed I just continued to not feel good I feel really stupid making this one um it is Saturday around five o'clock in the afternoon just want to give you a little update. So Thursday I went to Hollywood Studios. Yesterday, Friday, um, Wyatt and I got up and we went to downtown Disney. And I woke up and I was like, man, I really like my, I'm really like aching. Like I must have slept weird. Like I really hurt all over. I took my temperature like I do right when I wake up. And I'm like, oh, it's like 98.3. Like, my normal temperature is like 97 point something, so I was like, oh, that's not really a fever. Like, that's just what a normal person is supposed to be. I didn't think anything of it, but my throat hurt so bad. So bad. Um, and then I had some tea yesterday, and then uh, today, um, I was supposed to, like, I, was, I wasn't feeling great, like, I was really achy. And I'm like, man, you know, I'm just not feeling good yesterday e evening. It was pretty late. Um, it was like one o'clock um, by the time I got in bed. I was like, I was like a zombie. Like I, uh, I literally just like, just jumped. Like I just fell into bed and just like instantaneously, like just fell right to sleep. So then I tossed and turned all night long all night long i tossed and turned um i couldn't sleep for more than like an hour um i was super thirsty got up and got a drink just couldn't fall asleep couldn't stay asleep and then you know um wyatt wakes up because he wanted to go to epcot we were both supposed to go to epcot today and i was like i am not gonna be able to go to epcot i my entire body hurts like, my fingers hurt, my ribs hurt, my hips hurt, my knees hurt, my feet hurt, my ankles hurt, like, my joints hurt, like, and I took my temperature before he had left for Epcot, and it was at, like, 98.6, and I was like, okay, that's a normal person temperature, that's fine, um, and then, uh, my mom, my sister, and I went out, and we grabbed a little bite to eat, and I felt fine. Felt completely fine. Um, some grits. That was good. Uh, felt completely fine. We stopped at the store and got some things. It's supposed to be like a hurricane. So like we just stocked up on a couple things. And then I come back here and I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to take a quick nap. I wake up from my, I think it was like a three hour nap at the, at the very least. Like it was a three hour nap. And I'm on fire. My skin is on fire. I take my temperature. I'm at, and I'm, I have a fever of 99. And I'm like, that's a fever for a normal person. My throat doesn't hurt. 
My sinuses hurt a little bit. My skin is super hot. My tummy feels fine, which is really weird because my tummy never feels fine, even when I don't have a fever, which is like the oddest thing in the world. Um, I'm not nauseous. Um, I don't really have a headache. My nose isn't running. My eyes aren't like puffy. Like I have no other things other than my entire body aches and I have a fever. So like, I don't know. Of course, it's easy to assume that, you know, it could be, mm -hmm, I'm not going to say the word. It's easy to assume that it could be that. Um, and to be frank, you know, like, I know that that's karma. I know that that's like, that's, I had that coming kind of thing. Because, um, sorry. Because, like, I had that coming because I decided to go to a very densely populated area, one where COVID is absolutely rampant, and um, go sit out in the heat, you know, and go to, I, I decided to go to Disney World, and that was a risk that I chose to take, and so this is the consequences of that. So it's not something that I'm, like, upset about, it's just something that I have to deal with. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna keep updated on that because they're supposed to check out tomorrow to go to Savannah. Um, but basically, I've been just taking my uh, Tylenol for fever and the pain and took a little Benadryl to help me just rest because I'm just going to drink some fluids like you're supposed to, stay in bed, and rest. So hopefully this is just a little, just a little bug I picked up because honestly, every time that we go to Disney, every time we go anywhere, I always get sick. I always get sick. Every vacation I've ever been on, I always get sick at some point. And it's usually just like a 24-hour thing. So fingers crossed that by tomorrow I'll feel much better. <laughs> so today is Monday. What day is the it? Third. Monday the 3rd of August. So we are on Airbnb in Savannah right now. We left Florida. Um, we looked at three houses on the way up to Savannah from Orlando. First one might be the one. The other two, we weren't really feeling too much. And right now we're gonna go look at another one and then head back to Savannah. So yeah, um, that's what's going on with us. I'm feeling much better. I think the last thing I recorded was that I had a fever, um, but it's exactly what I thought it was. Um, I had the fever, I drank my fluid, I went to sleep. I'm fine now. You know, um, but the craziest thing happened. So the, the ignore the music in the background of mom. The craziest thing. Can you turn that down? Mom's vibing in the back seat. So the craziest thing happened. So the first house we went to, out in the middle of the country, absolutely adored it. It is a huge house for our budget, um, and really doesn't need that much work. Second house we went to, okay, more in the city, a little bit cramped, cool little location, but like in a really dense residential area, not like a, um, a subdivision, but just like old houses and things like that. And the third one, the weirdest thing happened. So I was feeling fine, felt completely fine, eating a little bit tidbit. And usually if my stomach's going to hurt, it, it hurts immediately after. It'll hurt immediately after I eat immediately it doesn't it doesn't wait you know it just hurts so then but like the realtor you know that was helping us out she unlocked the door to this house i walk in and i am nauseous instantaneously nauseous and i'm like i was so like i was like i i walked around i like i was like okay it's fine it's fine i want to look at this house it's just hot you know walked around for a little bit and I was like I gotta go back to the car I gotta go back to the car it was like the fastest that I have gone from zero to panic in a little while so I know that I freaked out at Hollywood Studios um, but this was worse this was this was like so it was like some I don't know some bad juju was in that house some really negative energies but what was really depressing was because that was like the house that like nobody else wanted to look at except for me because it had this gorgeous stone fireplace. But as soon as I stepped into that house, I felt so Turn sick. Turn left to North Main Street. So we're on our way to see um, 
another house. I can't remember the specifics of this one. We've looked at so many houses on Realtor, so many houses on Zillow. So it's all kind of blurring together. But um, right now, the very first house that we looked at, everything is now being compared to that house. So fingers crossed, it's in our budget. Um, all that kind of thing, so we're just very, very excited. So, yeah, all right, I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> so, a lot has happened since the last time I recorded. So, we went and looked at a couple more houses, um, and the first one we looked at, we just fell in love with, and we looked at other ones thinking, okay, maybe it was just the first one, since so this is the first one, and we liked it, but like none have even compared. So we have officially put in an offer, we're talking to the realtor, we got like approved for the loan, everything's going and I'm just waiting for the contract to sign because I'm about to get a house. I went to Disney World and now I'm getting a house, like a dream house too, like it had everything that I wanted and it's so, the floor plan is so eclectic and just kind of funky and weird and it's just so me. And I just like, you know, I don't plan on having kids, but it's like really somewhere I can imagine like growing as a family, you know, so very excited. <laughs> Hello, how many? Oh, Hello, how many? Look how, that's American right there. That's American. Wow. So fun.